It's always nice. Uh, right around this time of year, we speak with Leslie Elias from the Gremlin Griffins, the incredible theater arts camp that we are lucky enough to have in our backyard in Cornwall. And once again, they are holding their 2022 this year's theater arts camp uh, for six days from 930 to 2.30, uh, 6 through 16. And this begins on July 18th through Saturday, July 23rd at their headquarters. And we welcome in Leslie. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. Can you hear me? I can hear you absolutely fine. Okay. So this is another summer, and uh, uh, it appears that uh, we still have to, uh, to worry uh, about COVID a little bit, but I think your camp is going to have you know, you'll breathe a little easier this year because things aren't as bad. Uh, let's talk about the camp, which, uh, which opens up really in just a matter of, of days. Correct. Um, well, we still have a couple more slots for campers, but mainly I want to talk about the two performances that are the culmination of camp that are open to the public, one in Cornwall on July 23rd at 5 o'clock on Saturday at Griffin headquarters here, and one the night before at Falls Village Children's Theater on Friday, July 22nd at, at 5. And so we are working... Um, we have two performances this year, which will include the campers performing with our adult troupe of Grumbling Griffins with special guest artists. So you want me to keep going, or you ask me some questions? No. Uh, is this the first time you're taking it out of Cornwall to, like, the, the center on Main and Falls Village? Is this, is this the first time you're doing this at, at, at the conclu- at, you know, in the summertime? Yes, it is. I mean, year-round. We're in our 42nd year. We're a nonprofit, and... Um, we travel around the United States and also have done international shows, but normally people book us if we go to a library, museum. I mean, for instance, this summer we're taking the same show, with, which is a dual language show in English and sign language. So the following week we're performing for the Bicentennial for the Case Memorial Library in Orange. We're in Springfield, Mass. We're, we're all over, but in this case, because... I run our own camp here for the northwest corner. I was like, there's one show is not enough. The kids work so hard, and so do the adults. There's so many people and staff and performers and music and life. It's just so wonderful that why not do another show? Of course, it's more work, but it's worth it. So we because we do it outside here, we do it at my home, which is Griffin headquarters that started during COVID. We had been using the Cornwall Town Hall, which is a wonderful space. But as many people might know, it's the weekend of the rummage sale in Cornwall. So we couldn't use Town Hall this year. And this is the only date we could get everybody together, July 23rd. Um, We're doing it outside. So if it rains, I needed to find a rain location. Well, I had been speaking for several years. Uh, to Devin Boyden and different people at Falls Village Children's Theater who were looking for an opportunity to bring us in. And when I wrote them, they said, yes, that would be wonderful if you guys performed here. Um, So it's a nice collaboration with Falls Village Children's Theater. Uh, So that will happen Friday, July 22nd at, um, as I said, 7 o'clock in the evening. The kids are going to start coming. They will all come. Monday morning, 14 kids ranging from 6 through 12, and they will be learning American Sign Language with two different people, a wonderful teacher from uh, Northwest Community College. She's Maureen M. Chalmers, is the instructional and communication specialist there and for their education for the deaf and hard of hearing program, and she's, you know, the most committed teacher I've ever met. I mean, she is so, not only as a teacher, but to the deaf, she's a deaf advocate and experienced, has interpreted at the Bushnell, at the Warner, at Long Wharf, and we have been so lucky through a grant that I applied for called the Arte Accessibility Grant, which I applied for before COVID to the Connecticut Office of the Arts and Uh, wrote and called the college because I knew they had a really good deaf studies program there. And lo and behold, it all came through. They were very excited about it. The grant came through, and then COVID hit. And then despite COVID, 
we were able to study with Maureen. She was assigned to us, and we were very lucky to have such a dedicated teacher to come train our cast so that we could learn the show in American Sign Language, but it was very important to her, and which now I've learned how important it is to have it interpreted by a deaf actor and the name of the interpretation, which is totally authentic, is called glossing. So she chose Robert DeMeo. She approached him, and he's a, a star in the deaf world um, and, a, and a movie performer and teaches ASL in New York and all over. I mean, he's amazing. He grew up going to the American School for the Deaf. So he, he's a Connecticut native, but he lives in Philadelphia now. Works in New York City and all over, just finished a training out west. And he got so enthusiastic about not only interpreting our play, which the play we will perform is called The Myth of Persephone, which has been in our repertoire since 1980, since the start of our theater. But what has been different is, is doing it both in English and ASL, which stands for American Sign Language. So not only did he want to, and it glossed it, as I said, but he said, I want to, can I be in it? And we were like, this is fantastic. So he plays Zeus, and he plays Hades, also known as Lord Pluto, King of the Underworld. And my son, who has become a professional actor, Daniel Sade, works with him in tandem, so he voices the, the both parts that, that Robert signs. And it's, it's, such, it's worth coming to the show just to see those two in action, just for that. All right. Now, we only have about a minute or two left, so once again, uh, The Myth of Persephone will be two different performances this year on Friday at 7 p.m. That will be at the Center on Main in Falls Village. And then on Saturday at 5 p.m., and that'll be at your headquarters in Cornwall. And if people want more information, they just go to your website, or is there a telephone number also they can call? They can call 860-672-0286. And the kids will be making art with various wonderful people, Johnny Sagala, um, Catherine Freigang, an artist. They're making murals. They're making tunics. We have incredible musicians coming, three live musicians playing. And if it rains on Saturday, it will pl take place at Falls Village Children's Theater for the second performance. All right. Well, if that happens, just let us know and we'll put the word out. Okay. Well, thank you for having us, and we wish you, everybody, a safe time. And please come to one of the productions. We'd love to see you. All right. Thank you, Leslie. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, Leslie Elias, once again, uh, the Grumbling Griffins uh, and uh, their performance is coming up uh, at uh, the Center on Main and also at their headquarters in Cornwall, uh, grumblinggriffins.org on the web.